Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of our video this week and the continuation of our BST playlist. So, today's question name is that we have been given a binary tree and we need to convert into BST. So, given a binary tree, convert it into a BST in such a way that keeps the original structure of the binary tree intact, right? For this one, two, three, we have we have to use the same nodes and the same structure as well. We just need to replace it with the BST. BST property kya hoti hai? There's a root node, there's a left node, there's a right node, right? So the left node has the value lesser than the root node and the right node, that is the right children, having the value greater than the root node or let's say the parent node, correct? How we can solve this question? So it is based on a fact, you may have also known that in order of a particular, in order of every BST is sorted in ascending order, right? So let's just make a BST now. So let's say 2, 3, 4, so for 3 and what will happen? Okay, so that's not the BST. So let's make the root node as 10. Now we need to place lesser value. So let's say place 7 and the larger value is than 10. Let's say let's place 13. So for 7, let's place 6 here and let's place 8 here, right? If you do the inner traversal, how we can do inner traversal? That we we recursively um, cover the was the left subtree in order, right? So then we cover the root and then we cover the right. right? That's the in order, right? So if you do not know how to do this in order traversal pre and post order, then definitely I made a video on my binary tree place. Please go through that. And then you can come back to this video again. Okay, so let's just get ahead with the open board. Okay, so what's the what's the uh, in order traversal here? So first we visit the left, right? So it would be the leftmost is six. Then we visit the root. We visit the root seven. And then we visit the rightmost, so eight. Then again, this left sub tree is over. We the left is over now we visit again the root and then we visit the right that is 13 right now if you see this particular array or let's say the bunch of nodes is particular in the sorted array sorted or let's say in the ascending order right okay so what we need to do in the given tree in the given tree what we need to do is that uh, no i don't i do not know the size of the tree like how many nodes are there in the list uh, in the tree right so i will use an array list i will make a function which will take the parameter root and then and an array list right and I will I will just write a simple what to say uh, in order code right I will just say that if root is equals equals to null if root is equals equals to null I will just say return from there else I will just recur for the left part that is function root dot left comma the array list why I'm passing this array list because whenever I need to visit whenever I'm visiting a node I need to add that particular node in my array list right so that's why i'm having an additional par parameter here that is an array list here correct so instead of printing the node what i need to do i need to add that node so al dot add root dot data and then we again recursively call root dot right comma al now in this array list in this array list you must you will be having the node stored at this uh, not like this this is this is given you as the bst so suppose it was a BD, then definitely in the array list you will not have in ascending order, right? So to to make the nodes pr uh, pr uh, present in this ascending uh, present to make the nodes in the array list in the ascending order, you need to do you need to call one thing more that is collections dot sort. And now you have the nodes present in this array list as an ascending order. Now you will do this would be your first step. This would be your second step. The third step would be you will again do an in order traversal. In order traversal will do again and you will replace the nodes that is present here in the array list to the exact mapping of the tree correct so what i'm what i'm saying is what i'm saying is that's let's just first build a, a function which will do the in order traversal let's just store each and every node present in this tree into an array list and then sort it okay so meanwhile i'm doing that you also try to do that the first and second step and then you can proceed it with the third one okay so that's the first and second step that is we are storing we are calling an in order function here right and before calling it we are passing an list array list here because we do not know the size that is the number of nodes we have in the tree and uh, it is just a smart move because we could have called another function as well to just to get the no the size of the nodes or the number of nodes in the tree and then would have made an integer array right of that size n plus one but uh, since we have a privilege we have some data structure that use the dynamic uh, array ca capability then we that that's why we have made the list here right now you can clearly see if you do if you do the inner traversal for this particular tree what you will get the leftmost is two the root and then right so two one three would be the inner traversal here right so in this array list actually two one three is stored but when i called collection dot sort it is sorting all the uh, values present in the list and that's why we are having one two three because i have used the system dot print statement right now the work is not done 
you need to you need to map all the elements present in this array, array list present in the sorted order to the original mappings of the tree right so you need to make one more traversal but what what changes you will do there you have to uh, instead of instead of here adding instead of adding here you need to say that my root dot data root dot data is nothing but al dot get off let's say we are maintaining variable idx right i need to do idx plus plus right but since everything is happening via recursion so you need to make this idx as a global variable right because for each call we do not want to use the previous idx have that is present in the parent call a you are able to get this point right we do not want to use the previous values of the idx present in the parent call we always want whenever a recursive call is made irrespective of the recursive call is made we, i always want to do idx plus plus and that is why we are making this idx as a global variable now i have given you enough hint please pause this video now make a additional function let's say name it with replace and make a global variable idx do the in order again in that replace function and then just score it and let's resume back again in 3 to 4 minutes okay so now i have made the changes i have made the third step as a, as a third step i have made a global variable idx here now in the main function that is in the starting function the binary tree to bst i am always initializing this idx x0 because we need to always start with the first element of our array ar list right then i'm passing then i'm calling a uh, function that is replace al we are passing the array list because we want to access the value present in our array list right so we need to pass that uh, array list as parameter then only we will be able to access it in the recursive function right in the function below and then we are passing the second parameter as the root node now what's happening in the replace so first of all we are using the same in order traversal you can see i am calling for the left i am calling for the right right now what i did that instead of printing the data that is to get the in order traversal i'm just saying that replace that particular data with the values present in our array list which is present in the sorted ascending order once you have placed the first value then for the another value you need to take the uh, next value right and that's why i'm doing index plus plus and uh, yep and we have declared this index as global variable so everything will be taken care of and that is why the compilation has been successfully run and let's just hit the submit button while it is submitting can you guess the time complexity of this code so what are we doing in the first we are doing an in order uh, we are calling the in order right and you are using an array list so what is the time complexity here o of n because we are visiting each and every node and o of n would be the space complexity due uh, responsible for the recursive stack and o of n responsible for the array list which we have made right so it is o of 2n then again what is happening in the second step in the second step we are just uh, what are we doing we are making uh, we are actually using collections dot sort right so what it takes it takes n log n right in the third step we are again calling in order so again o of n will be involved and o of n will be involved in the space complexity for the auxiliary or the, or the recursive stack right so if you simplify it if you simplify the time complexity it is 2n plus n log n so ignoring the smaller uh, complexities what will be the overall overall n log n in the space complexity it is o of 3n so ignoring the constraint it will be o of n right this would be the space complexity given the constraint Okay, so it has been successfully submitted. Given the constraint, what are the constraints here? Ten power five. So definitely, if you have ten power five, if you put it ten power five into log of ten power five, it will be definitely it will come less than equal to ten power eight, and that is why our code is getting submitted. So yes, let's just end this video for this particular day streak, and then let's continue in the tomorrow's purity day streak and the continuation of our another playlist. So till then, okay. One last thing, I didn't show you the C plus plus code. Let me just. Uh, do the c++ code and get and scroll it through for you guys okay so that is the c++ code let me just scroll it through so what is happening here again we have made the global variable the main function is here we are calling the step one thing that is uh calling the in order storing it in a vector uh, we have c in c++ we have vector in java we have array list and we are sorting it and then again we are running the global variable initializing it at zero then we are again calling the in order function naming it at replace because we are replacing all the particular nodes present in the array list or in the vector to the exactly mapping of the tree because we do not want to change the structure that is the reason we need to run in order or let's say any traversal of the tree at, as the third step uh, okay so one question can we do any other traversal in the third step not in the first step because in the first step you must do in order to get the things to get the nodes uh, okay okay so one question change in question so can you do any other 
orders because I am used in order. Can you do any other orders that is pre and post order in the step one step three? Definitely we can do because we are not care. Uh, we do not care about the ascending order as of now as in the given question because in the given question you have a BT not a BST right. So you do any type of traversal post in order. Eventually you just have you just have to have the all the values present in the tree now. The sorting thing will automatically take care. Now I can say that the, the list has the all the values present in ascending order. And now you have to do an order traversal. Correct? Great. Great.